In this video, I'll show you how teachers, tutors, educators can use ChatGPT to save hours of planning time. It can create unit plans, lesson plans, design worksheets, build assessments, and generate resource ideas as well. I'll share the best modes to use like study and learn, deep research, create image and canvas. This will. I will also share a simple prompt formula to make your research faster. If you find this helpful, do like, comment, and subscribe for more ideas. Let's get started. Deep research can be used for multiple purposes to create unit plans, design assessments and with rubrics, and build teacher resource list as well. For discussion purposes, I'm using this prompt. So I will go and paste it into ChatGPT. What will happen is it will create responses for me. So I went ahead and chose number two and this is the kind of teacher notes that i got and the resource list as well so once i have generated that i've turned this into a table with summarize notes and and the sources as well and finally that was put into a practice task in, for students as well when you want editable teaching materials like lesson plans worksheets or slides use canvas mode go to ChatGPT, click on more click on canvas mode and for discussion purposes we are going to use this prompt and this is the kind of response that will be generated so it's a 60 minute lesson on a topic and it has given me there's an outline introduction uh, different stages of photosynthesis and then it's gone on ahead and given me some exit questions as well and i can go ahead and ask for worksheets or diagrams that could be used for my if you want student friendly materials go to study and learn study and learn can be used to do multiple tasks as well like differentiate activities explain tricky concepts create flashcards so for discussion purposes we'll be creating activities go to ChatGPT homepage change the mode to study and learn insert the prompt and then it will generate your response so now it is generating different levels of reading text then it says now i can go ahead and use this for my class i can make it longer i can make it more complex or i can give the prompt as can you assign it to a group or can you make it more simple and so on finally when you need visuals or posters for class use use create image mode go to ChatGPT homepage change that to create image inset prompt generate search the same prompt can be used to create other images for the same writing task so each of the image comes with an explanation of the poster and the question for descriptive writing in this video i have shared you how to use prompts and modes such as deep research, canvas, study and learn, create image in chat GPT. And here is the formula that I'm using to write my prompts. If this video was helpful, do like, comment and subscribe to support the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.